Hello guys, welcome to Bhavna's Online Academy. So today we are here with a new video. So I had already told you guys that I will be soon uploading a video on whether you should select both group or one group for your November 20 examination because a lot of you were confused and I understand that. So here in this video I will help you in clearing your confusion whether you should go with your both groups or one groups. I am going to state a few facts in this video by which you will be able to decide whether you want to do your both groups or one group in your November 20 examination. Right. So let's start with the video. So today is 26th of July and uh, till your 31st October that is before your examinations you have 98 days left. So uh, till August end will be your target number one, your goal number one. So until this August end, what you have to do is what I am going to tell you. If you are planning to give your uh, both groups, what you must do is, you must see if you are able to complete the first reading of both groups by August end. What is the first reading or the preparation of uh, both groups mean here is that you must be very thorough with the subject. You must be completely having the conceptual clarity of all the subjects that you have read. All the notes, every notes, if you are supposed reading a practical subject, then all the formulas and important points and whatever tough questions that you find when you are working out your sums, all those must be marked and all those must be ready in your hand, okay? So all those notes must be made and also you must have a plan on how you are going to study in the one and half day and whether you will actually be able to study in those one and half day. So all summing up all the points, you must your preparation must be complete, you must be thorough with all the subjects, all the notes must be made up and uh, you must be able to study in the one and half day. So here I told you that you must be very thorough with the subject. So how are you going to check whether you are thorough with the subject by August 10? I mean if you are going to write both the groups, what you can do is once you complete your uh, one subject, you can take 3 hours out of your day and in that you can try to attempt a past year question paper. If you are able to attempt the past year question paper and you have gained the confidence this, yes I have studied very well, then that means you are very thorough with the subject. Okay, So all of these you have to check that you have completed all of this till August end. So there may be 3 situations on August end Okay, that is on 31st of August. So first situation may be that yes you are uh, completed the all the subjects and you are thorough with all of the subjects that is both the group preparation are well done okay that means you can uh, proceed on to give all uh, your both groups in the exam okay okay so suppose uh, what happens is that until august end you were able to finish the uh, preparation of one group completely and thoroughly. If you are able to complete only one group and if you have completed it completely and thoroughly, then what you can do is till September 15, you can take up two subjects from the group 2 or the other group which you have not prepared yet and from that any two subjects you can pick and try to score exemption in that. Okay, that will be a smart plan. The third case might be where till August 10, your first group preparation is itself not over. Your first group preparation, you have not completed it, you are not confident, you have tried and attempted your uh, past year question paper, but seems like you are not very thorough or very confident about it. So what you can do is, here you can uh, just set aside the... Uh, plan of writing group 2 and rather you can concentrate more on group 1 and write and uh, prepare for it till your September 15. August end that is your 31st August will be the day when you are going to evaluate everything and till September 15 you have this buffer period where if you want to prepare something extra or complete whatever you have not prepared. Okay, so once your September 15 has come by what you can do is from September 15 to October 15 you have to take this time out and in that period, you have to try to do your RTPs, MTPs and other past year question papers or any important questions that you have marked before which seems tough to you. So all of this you can prepare in those one month. Also a very important thing that in this one month, please don't start getting confused because this is the time, the September 15th, October 15th is the time when everybody starts getting confused of what they actually want to do. They will start taking up test series, they will subscribe for a new test series, they will uh, get subscribed for, for a new class or they will start reading something new or practice new questions or do something new. Please don't do that. Please 
just uh, don't do that always concentrate on your ica material sums in theory in this one month okay okay so from september 15 to october 15 you must also uh, try and make sure that everything that you want or need for your exam is prepared okay so once this one month also gets over from october 16 to your october uh, 26 27 what you have to try and do is you have to do a exam before your exam so what does this exam before your exam means that you have to take out a day a day or two in which what you have to do is like just like your exam one and half day you have to sit and prepare everything and in the three hours next day you have to give your paper so in this time what will happen is you will be able to understand whether you are able to cover everything in this one and half day if not not you can take uh, corrective measures according to this and if you are then you'll be confident about your exams and you'll have no pressure so yes uh, this is how you are going to choose whether you want to write both groups or one group in your examination okay a lot of you also ask me how to cover subjects how do we uh, how many hours do we study so all of these things will completely depend on you because i am not really sure of what your strengths or weakness are um so i'll also try to bring a 90 day study plan very soon where uh, i'll put up a time table and give it to you guys for even for both groups and single groups too so also stay tuned for that that's coming soon also thank you so much for joining in today hope this video would have been helpful to you if it was please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification icon so you get notified every time i post a new video thank you guys